Hey, yo, when you're on an airplane, before takeoff, the flight attendant always says, in the event of an emergency, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of you. If you're traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask on first and then assist the other person. See, life is just like this. Before you try to go and help somebody else, you gotta first help yourself. You gotta secure yourself. Some people may call it selfish, but if you're panting and hyperventilating in life and you're trying to go and help somebody else, I don't care how good your intentions, chances are you're both not gonna make it. See, there's a reason they say secure your mask first before helping even children. That's how important it is for you to be stable first. Because once you're stable, then you can help the child. You can help the old lady, the old man, the teenager. What I'm trying to say is that in life to be the most help to others you got to take the time to secure your own mask to secure yourself financially mentally physically and most importantly spiritually that means you got to leave friends family turn off the game the award shows and just be with yourself because see in the operating room ain't no visitors allowed no guests no friends no family why because the patient is undergoing a transformation. Well, in that same way, you must get by yourself if you want to transform into your best version. But let me finish with this. After you have your mask properly secured and you're able to breathe, it becomes your obligation, your duty to help others secure their mask. So ain't nothing wrong with being selfish in the beginning, but make sure the end game is to be selfless because to be the only one breathing on a plane while everybody else is unconscious will surely put you on a crash course for loneliness and disaster peace ladies and gentlemen of the jury today on trial we have modern day schooling glad you could come not only does he make fish climb trees but also makes them climb down it is getting to the end of life only to realize that you never truly lived.